miracle in the room. Come on. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm trying to tell you because wherever God is, there's a miracle. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. This morning, I'm going to ask you to turn in your Bible to Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter. And I'm probably going to read about, uh, let's see, probably about 11 verses. Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter. And I'm going to read about 11 verses. Amen. All right. The Bible says, All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. Thou shalt remember all the ways y'all, thou shalt remember all the ways which the Lord thy God has led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee, to prove thee, to know thee, what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandment or no. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger, fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know that he might, uh, that he might uh, uh, make thee know that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Thy raiments wax not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chastened his son, so uh, the Lord thy God chases thee. Excuse me. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of the valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not lack anything in it. A land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. When thou hast eaten and are full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he has given thee. Verse 11, beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which I command this day. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Saints of God, God is clear in, 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 in how we operate. He made us and he created us. Amen. And one detriment that we have is that we tend to forget. Amen. And I don't think it's I don't think we necessarily forget. It's just that just as Tish now, she didn't know what I was going to preach. Okay, she, I ain't told her nothing what I was going to preach. And she came up with a lesson of how our imagination could change so fast. Because of what's before us at the present time can cause us to forget what God has done. Not only will it cause us to forget what God has done, it causes us to forget who God is. And so what God did was he instituted for the children of Israel, uh, amen, and, and, and uh, he instituted days, amen, to, so that they would remember who it is that's providing and protecting them, who it is that's blessing them, that they would remember, amen, even, uh, amen, the days that he created, they were days for reminders. Now, we know they begin to worship the days and all the things that, God said it's to the worship of the God who gave them to him. Amen. But nevertheless, he understood, he understands how we work. Uh, amen. And that we will forget those things except sometimes the thing that's before us. Amen. How many of you can, rem uh, if you think back, uh, how you can remember the bad things, amen, that are before you and you forget the good thing. Amen. Glory to God. But good and bad has happened to you. Are y'all hearing me? 
But if, but, but if you just remember the bad things, don't think you remember his life is oh so bad. Amen. So what does God do? He instituted days and times and cycles to keep us and to help us remember. God knows that we forget. So he said, so each week you need a day to remember. And he called it Sabbath. Each day you need to remember. And he said, and what I want you to do is I want you to not work. And, in, and on the sixth day, I'm going to give you double. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So that you remember, it's me. I'm Jehovah Jireh, your provider. Come on, thank the Lord. Have I got a witness? Now, I'm, I'm trying not to preach, but I feel it rising up right now in Jesus' name. Glory to God. We've got some wonderful preachers going to come up here in a minute. They don't know they're preaching, but they're going to preach. Amen. And, and, and so God created Sabbaths. Amen. So each week he created, amen, a, a, a day. That you will remember, oh, oh, wait a minute, uh, 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 I had a bad week. Yeah, but when I get to Sabbath, wait a minute, but the Lord has brought me through. Come on, have I got one witness? The Lord has kept me. The old saints in the Pentecostal church, uh, uh, brother friends, I got, I, I picked up a little bit of it. The old saints, just another day that the Lord has kept me. Amen? Praise the Lord. And then, uh, amen, we're, we're, we're grateful to God uh, that he comes along and he says, so now, not only do you need to be reminded each week, but I'm going to give you three seasons in a year that you remember what I've done. Because I don't want you to forget. The worst thing in the world will be is for you to forget. Because when you are forgetting, it's really more like replacing. Your mind is still working. And, and what happened, what God did has been replaced by what has happened to you. So it's not that you... Uh, have the inability to remember it's just what we choose to remember amen and so God gives three times in a year Passover to remember that I bought you out of deliverance I set you free and I didn't just bring you out I brought you out with a strong hand and nobody was sick and nobody was broke somebody thank the Lord shout Passover Amen. He said, now, and I want you to remember that I want you to celebrate it why because it's a time of remembrance then he gave, amen, the time of, of Pentecost. Pentecost and at Sinai, they, they'd seen this God that did all these miracles. Well, they ain't know him. They didn't know him. They didn't know him. They didn't know him. And, and God told Moses, and I, they don't know me like this. He said, so now, when they get out of Egypt, bring them to me. Bring them to Sinai. You tell them to get ready. So, so they don't know who I am, and I want you to give them instruction. Amen. When the trumpets begin to blow. When the trumpets begin to blow, the trumpets herald the coming of the Lord. Praise the Lord. He said that when the trumpets begin to go, bro, he said, I'm going to come down on the mount and uh, in the presence of all the people. And what happened at Pentecost at Sinai, they saw this God. They were like, uh-uh, Moses, you talk to him and then you tell us what he said because they saw the power of God. Have I got one witness in here today? Have you seen the power of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And then God said, now I'm not going to leave you. Now I'm going to say something and I think this is, I think it's close to, I think it's pretty correct. So you can, you can choose how you want to. We know that God led the children of Israel amen, through the wilderness. He didn't leave them. He led them uh, amen, through the wilderness a cloud by day and fire by night. Amen. He led them. So, so he, God just just didn't show up, amen, and lead them. He said, no, nope, I'm going with you, and I'm going to lead you. And I believe who that was. I believe that was the Holy Spirit, amen, because two times God uh, come on Sinai when he came and said, don't touch that mountain, amen. And then once a year, amen, in atonement, when he came down, he said, all right, you come here unless you're right because you're going to die because of my presence, amen. So I believe that was the Spirit of God. You can, you can, you know, we know it was the Lord, amen, but what I'm saying to you is that God said, now, I I'm going to be with you. I'm not just going to come down and touch you. I'm not just going to come down and bless you and say, now, go along your way. He said, no, no, I am going with you. Amen. And the reason how, why you're going to make it, amen, is not by your might, nor your, but you're going you're gonna to make it all the way to the promised land. Why? Because your faith is in me. Your faith is not in your ability. Your faith is not... Amen. Your faith is not in your numbers because you're going to come up against 
people that are bigger and stronger than you. But you're going to win. Why? Because I am with you. You're going to come against stuff that, that should take you out. But the, I'm telling you, even the sea got to back up when God is with you. Come on, are y'all hear me today? Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now, now think about this. Then why did that first generation not make it to the promised land? Come on, somebody tell me. Because they what? And you got the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. You know what happened, don't you? You forgot. No, no, no. It wasn't an issue of your brain. You chose to replace what God, who God is, with what's closest to you. The thing that's taking place in your life now. And God is speaking to us. And we're we 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 celebrating this day. Amen. We say we want it outside. Because we want everybody who's afraid to come inside, we want you to be a part of this celebration. Amen? You that are online, you're going to be a part of this celebration. Come on, thank the Lord. Amen? To celebrate remembering that our God is who he is. And he does what he does. Come on, thank the Lord. What does he do? Somebody shout exceeding. Shout abundantly. Above all, we can answer things. Shout yes in this place. Glory to God. 